verify that your bridle routing is correct. Every rig has a recommended bridle routing from the manufacturer, and if possible, you should follow this bridle routing. If you're not sure what the recommended bridle routing for your rig is, you can test the opening sequence by simply pulling on the bridle to verify that the container will open. On a two-pin rig with a crossover style pin flap, the bridle should be routed out the center between the pins. Because the crossover style pin flap does not have the potential to entangle the bridle, the bridle can be completely hidden and need not cross over the top of the pin cover flap. Next, stow the pilot chute. It's helpful to use a tool, such as a magazine, to assist. First, position the magazine below the BOC and make sure there are no twists in your bridle. When you reach the pilot chute, move your hand around the mesh until you reach the junction of the mesh and the ZP portion of the pilot chute. This pack is called a mushroom pack because the pilot chute resembles a mushroom at this point during the packing process. Take the mushroom pilot chute, invert it, and place the cap down against the ground. Place the cap at the edge of the BOC where it will sit after it's packed. In this way, we can use the BOC as a measuring guide to fold the pilot chute. Leave the ZP in a circle and fold the mesh to the bottom of the BOC. S fold the bridle on top of the mesh. Fold the mesh around the bridle and bring the ZP down around the mesh. Now, roll the magazine around the pilot chute. To insert the pilot chute into the BOC. Once the pilot chute is in place, simply remove the magazine. If you have excess bridle, you can tuck the bridle inside the BOC between the pilot chute and the bottom wall of the container. Next, place the packed rig into the stash bag. Always keep your rig in a stash bag and the stash bag with the rig. Once you have the rig in the stash bag, mark the outside of the stash bag in some way to show how the rig is packed. This is important to avoid making a critical error, such as taking a 15 second delay on a slider down rig. Now he's moving. It's a nice long track. Oof. Oh, that looks slider down. Oh no. Oh fuck. <laughs> he's feeling that. Oh. Once you've finished packing, it's important to verify your tool count to ensure that you've not left any tools inside your pack job. At the end of the pack job, you should have exactly the same tools that you had at the beginning. In this case, we have five two-inch spring clamps, two pull-up cords, and four bungee tensioners. We hope this video has been useful to you learning how to pack.
Please remember that there are a lot of different ways to learn to pack and a lot of different pack jobs. This is just one method. We like this method for students because we find it's the easiest way for a new jumper to get a good pack job. Remember, the more practice that you do before your fundamentals course, the more time you'll be able to spend jumping and the less time you'll have to spend practicing packing. Please, don't be that student. Remember, when packing parachutes, you get out of it exactly what you put into it. Taking a little time now to review this video and develop a solid pack job is a lot less painful than the alternative. Whoa. Literally. Take a that lot water. less painful. What happened? Just go in the water. Just go in the water. You're okay. You have a slow enough descent rate. You're going to be okay in the water. Ooh.